Hey guys, last week we learned about Zechariah and Elizabeth. The angel Gabriel had appeared to Zechariah and predicted the birth of his son John, who was born to tell others about Jesus. After this happened, the angel Gabriel also appeared to Mary and predicted that she too would have a baby. This baby would be named Jesus and he would be God's son. Does this story sound familiar? He will be great and he will be called the son of the most high. His kingdom will have no end, Gabriel said. Mary had visited Zechariah and his wife Elizabeth who was pregnant with John. Inside the womb, John leapt for joy in the presence of Mary's unborn baby, Jesus. Well, Mary and Joseph lived in the town of Nazareth, and when Mary was pregnant with baby Jesus, a ruler named Caesar Augustus wanted a list of all the people who were living in the land. So he sent out an order that said, everyone must return to his hometown to be counted. This was called a census. So since Joseph was part of King David's family, he and Mary had to travel back to Bethlehem, the city of David. Well, while they were there, Mary was ready to have her baby. Mary and Joseph looked for a safe place to stay, but every place was full because everybody was in town to register for the census. So Mary and Joseph found a place where animals were kept and that is where she had her baby. That's why when we see a nativity scene, you, it looks like it's in a manger and there's all these animals around. Well, Joseph named the baby Jesus and Mary wrapped him in cloth and laid him in a manger. That night, some shepherds were watching their sheep out in the fields and all of a sudden, an angel stood before them. A bright light shone around the shepherds and they were scared. But the angel said, do not be afraid. I have good news for you today. I have good news for you. Today, a savior who is the Messiah and the Lord was born for you in the city of David. Then the angel said, go find the baby. He will be wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly many angels appeared and they praised God and said, glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to people that he favors. When the angels left, the shepherds hurried to Bethlehem to find baby Jesus. They found him and they told others about him. Everyone who heard about Jesus was surprised and amazed. Jesus' mother, Mary, thought about everything that had happened and just tried to understand it. I can't imagine, can you? The shepherds went back to their fields. They praised God because of everything that had happened, just like the angel had said. Jesus being born was very good news. Jesus was not like other babies. Uh, Jesus is God's son and God sent Jesus to earth from heaven. Jesus came into the world to rescue people from their sins. I am so thankful for that. We usually hear this story at Christmas time and sometimes when we hear this story, life is just busy. And all we can think about is presents or special food and treats or sledding or Christmas parties. Today, I hope that you heard the story a little bit differently. I pray that you really understand that Jesus' birth was absolutely amazing. His mom hadn't even tried to be pregnant. God placed Jesus inside Mary's tummy in a miraculous way. And when the angel Gabriel predicted John's birth, he said that John would be filled with the Holy Spirit even before he was born. Then when Mary visited Elizabeth and both women were pregnant, Elizabeth's baby John, who was already filled with the Holy Spirit, leaped, it leapt in her tummy. Um, he jumped just because he was around Jesus who was in Mary's tummy. I just think that's so exciting and just such a neat thing to know. So as you heard the story today, I just pray that you learned something new. I pray that this Christmas, when you um, approach Christmas time, that you'll just kind of um, think a little more about just the miracle that um, Jesus' birth was, uh, just the miracle that took place there. And sometimes it's just nice to set aside all the busyness um, and think of just his birth for what it is. It was just a miracle. It was amazing and beautiful. And I hope you
got something out of it. I hope you have a great week.